In this weekly video, we're going to... The lessons that will be covered during this week, on Sunday, we will learn to spell consonant blends. And on Monday, we will continue learning about consonant blend words, and we will learn about the final X works. On Tuesday, we will learn about new story, all kinds of homes, and this story will be aligned with the new transdisciplinary theme where we are in place and time. On Wednesday, we will learn about articles and adjectives, and on Thursday, we will learn about capitalizing I and capitalization rules. We will learn to spell words that contain consonant blends. So consonant blends are when two or more consonants are put together in a word and you can hear each sound they make. Let's say plant. The letters P, P is a consonant and L is a consonant as well. So I can hear the P and the L. Plant. We hear the sounds of both P and L. So that's what we call consonant blends. The new spelling words for this week are step, trip, stem, stop, and trap. Let's learn to use these words into sentences. He's gone on a trip. He was sitting on the steps. Rose has thorns on its stem. I wish the rain would stop. He set a mouse trap. In phonics, we will continue learning about consonant blends and final X. So consonant blends are when two or more consonants are blended together. You will still hear each sound separately such as in the words black, B and L are both consonants and they come at the beginning of the word. Mist, the S and T are both consonants and they come at the end of the word. So consonant blends, we still hear the sounds of consonants. Final X, we will learn about the words that have X at the end, the sound of the letter X is X. So let's name the pictures here. We have box, wax, axe, six, fox, and fax. This week, we'll be reading a story titled All Kinds of Homes. It's an informational story that tells information about real homes. So all kinds of home introduces students to a wide range of homes, including some extraordinary unique houses. So the target strategy is to classify information and to summarize the text. What two houses belong in a group of homes that can move? The answer is option C, motor home and a houseboat. How is a houseboat different from a house? The answer is A, it is found on a water. Why does a cabin have birds for neighbors? The answer is B. Birds live in the trees near the cabin. Which of the following belongs in a group of homes where many neighbors live? The answer is A. It's an apartment. If a home is unique, it does not look like another home. Now we will learn about the English articles, which are a, an, and the. 
When we talk about things, sometimes we use little words like a, an, and the. These words are called articles. They help us talk about things in a clear way. When we say, I saw a cat, it could be any cat, not a special cat. If I say, I ate an apple, it could be any apple, but not a special apple. We use an before words that start with a vowel sound like a apple, a elephant, or ice cream. We use a before words that start with a consonant like cat, dog, or ball. Now the article the, we use it when we talk about a special thing like I saw the cat. Now we are talking about a special cat we both know. I ate the apple. The special apple we talked about. So again, a is used with nouns starting with consonant sounds. An is used with nouns starting with a vowel sound. The is used for specific noun or particular things. Adjectives are words that describe nouns, or we call them describing words. We have adjectives for colors, like red, blue, yellow, green. So red is an adjective, like she's wearing a red hat. So red is an adjective. We have adjectives for shapes, like round or square and we have adjectives for sounds like loud or quiet we have adjectives for feelings like happy or sad we have adjectives for sizes i say it's a big boat so big is an adjective or a small ant. Small is an adjective. We have adjectives for feelings, happy or sad. So again, adjectives are describing words that describe the nouns. We'll be learning about capitalizing the pronoun I. So the pronoun I should always be capitalized, whether it comes at the beginning of the sentence or in the middle. Let's read the examples here. I go to school. The letter I or the pronoun I comes at the beginning, so we need to make sure that it is capitalized. The second sentence, my friend and I will play. The pronoun I here comes in the middle, so we need to make sure that it is capitalized. 